Howdy folks, welcome back to Railroads Online. Today we're once again down here at the smelter. This is the smelter yard. And I'm dropping off these empty cordwood cars and then I want to go get the hoppers. Today's plan is to head up to the iron mine, get the hoppers full of iron ore, bring it back down to the smelter. Because uh, we need to make rails. I've got my, my beam car train sitting over there. And I need to get three cars full of rails, but I have a grand total of two rails. So. <laughs> Today we're going to go get some iron ore. So I've just pulled in here and I th think I cut this loose. Let me go double check. This is the full cord wood we dropped off here earlier. Yeah, that's all set. That'll work. All right, so I just need to run around to the other end and couple onto these hoppers. We'll be good to go. Let's check on the fire here. I did relog. Yeah, it looks like it's going. Let me go in a little more. Uh, I hope someday we can get the responsive whistle back. Makes me sad. Made it laggy so it works better over the network. It's a solution. Not necessarily the best one. I kind of wanted to use the Mogul for this. The Heisler is overkill, but I was too lazy to go all the way back to the Freight Depot and get the Mogul. So we're just going to run up there in the Heisler. Could be no problem at all. You switched back. We just got to run around here. I know some of you uh, like the yard switching, so I'm going to leave some of that in. And I'll cut out probably most of the run up the mountain. It's going to be pretty boring, but I'll show a little bit of it. Uh, but the main thing is just to get iron ore down here, to get those rails getting made. I want to get those up to the coal mine. And I want to take the hoppers when we go to the coal mine. So we can get another load of coal down here because pretty soon I'm going to build tracks over to the iron works. So we'll need to take some coal and some raw iron over there. So that'll be the eventual plan. Once we get the rails, take the uh, rails and beams up to the coal line. I'll bring back a train full of coal. And then we'll take the coal and the raw iron over to the ironworks, but I have yet to build track over there, so that's still to come. Let me sprint ahead here. Make sure we're lined up to go past. No. Nope. nope, I need to throw this switch. Everything else looks peachy. Thanks, as always, for all the comments and support. Y'all are loving the steam trains, and I am too. It's a little frustrating at times, as many of you know that play the game. Uh, let's see. This switch, yeah. It's curved yard. It gets a little tricky sometimes. Tell which switch does what. Come on, let me whistle. I do love the visibility from this cab. It's pretty good. I'm not doing too bad on water.
slow down too fast. This thing's got some really good brakes. All right, that should, in theory, just roll right back into the train. Yep. Forward again. What I found is you open this up to like 30 or 40%. Get over that stiction. Then you just back her way down. Let's get the brakes off of here. Let's be set on the other. There we go. Uh oh. Thought I had brakes set on that. Did I do that aft? That's weird. Okay. Well, uh, glad you're rolling back. Okay, I would have swore I set the handbrake. I guess I didn't. Well, let's, uh, <laughs> let's get these cars put back in place. Uh, yep, good. Now yeah, the handbrake's on. All right, that guy's kind of come around. If it doesn't meet any mysterious trees that regrew, it'll end up coming down on this track. He's set back to normal. Set to run through. Should be good. Yeah, I don't want to run all the way down there. I need to run all the way over here. Let's hope the trees are good. Need to get line to head back over to the iron mine. means I need to go back up that way. You're going to come out of here. Come on. There's the, uh, the beams. Three empty cars waiting on rails. We're going to come back out on here. Line straight through. Head on out to the iron mine. Uh, I might grab some water on the way by. Rain, where are you? Hopefully, not laying in a pile over here in the woods. Rain. Oh, I hear it. There it is. Look at that. All good. I'm not sure that went in the firebox. I think that did. Yep, that one did. Lovely. Uh, actually, was the boiler's looking pretty good. I'll, I think I'll just go ahead and fill up the tank. We're going to be driving right by the water. So yeah, a lot of just random uh, moving around today. some water and we'll be on our way. I know the track's kind of busy down here, but God dang if it isn't functional. <laughs> you can get just about anywhere you need to go.
Let's load right down. That'll do. Come on. My pipe. Okay. Yeah, we were getting pretty low here in the tank, so I want to let that uh, fill up and then we'll be heading up the grade. Topped off with water and we're ready to head on out of here. Switches are lined up. And a high ball. Got set on 40%. Uh, we'll just see how that goes. This thing is not a speed demon. It's fun to watch it run, though. You can see there we're starting to head up the grade. This eases into a 3%. I think it's 3% once we hit the stone. I wish the mouse cursor would fade. It doesn't fade out, does it? Some games do that. It just sticks there like a fly on the screen. Here we go. Good F12. And then right over here somewhere, there's like some 4.5% because I messed up this trestle. Need to get this relayed at some point. I'm hoping I can just cruise on up. This is slower than the mogul, but I don't think we'll have to mess with the throttle any. We'll see. Hopefully we don't go flying off the track. many trees there we go Just a lot more of this, and then we'll be at the iron mine. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. See, I told you, it's just more of the same. Show off some of this cool scenery here, though. As we fly through the trees. We got the regulator on 60%. I'm not sure if it makes much difference between 40 and 60. Maybe a little bit. Uh-oh. Yeah, we don't want that. Try 40. I think once it got pulling just a little too hard, we got the wheel slip. Once your wheels slip, you gotta back off. That's empty cars too. Anywho, just chugging on up the mountain. Got four hoppers full of iron ore. Now I'm going to head on back down the mountain. I 
I could turn around, but I'm too lazy. I'm not sure this actually fits on the turntable. So, we'll just go backwards. I should check that sometime. It might fit on the turntable. The mogul and the tender just barely fit. So we got a little bit of flat. I think it starts going downhill around there somewhere. Definitely once we get to that corner with the siding. Look at this view though. Look at that. It's a beautiful map. All right, I'm going to back on down the mountain. We'll get this down to the smelter. Get her unloaded. I think I'm going to have to come in. Yeah, I'll have to come in the, the north side of the first Y there. And we'll be pointed where we can get to the siding. I kind of want to keep these on the back end so I can just back them back into the yard. But I guess it doesn't matter either way. There's the smelter way down there. All right, I'll see you at the bottom of the hill. Made it down this far, no problems. This is kind of flat, so I'm going to... Get some power back on. Nothing too exciting, just uh, watching the scenery roll by. Some of my videos are just, you know, continuous footage, but this one's going to be broken up quite a bit as we do various things. Otherwise, it'd end up being another hour video. And over half of it would be just watching the train roll through the countryside. Which isn't all bad. So I'm going to leave some of that in here. But it's a decent little trip up to the iron mine in the high because it's so slow. It's a waterfall coming up. Yeah, we'll see you at the bottom. Easy does it. <laughs> It's taking a little while to get down here. I've been going pretty slow. Don't want these big heavy ore cars to tip over. I'm riding anywhere between 20 and 40% brake. Keep the speed under control. When I was talking about coming in the Y, I was I was thinking of coming in this way, but that's the other direction. Just forget that. What I need to do is stop before this switches over there. We can just back right into the uh, iron ore deposit, I think. Forget where exactly the crossover is. Yeah, we can just back right into there. That will work. Ease to a stop. Fire going again. Ah, smell that? Hot brakes. Makes you feel alive. <laughs> Excuse me. A little bit of a hiccup going on. Let's get this thrown. There we are. Now we're ready to 
just back on in and start unloading and then we'll have some iron. I've got a bunch of cordwood you can see there stocked up. I forgot I had that fifth cordwood car in the yard. I brought a load of four over. And once I took the four over to the yard, remembered, oh yeah, I've got cordwood here. Yeah, we're moving, so we're going to back off on that. Don't need too much throttle. Nice uh, glass effect there. It's all wavy. Well, we're just trucking along. Turn you off. Let's we'll see if I can spot this from this view. It's gonna be a little difficult. Somewhere around there. Let's see how close we are. We've got uh, 58 cordwood. All right, we need to come back about two car lengths. I was way off. That's why I usually just do it from this view. So I can tell what's going on since I don't have any help here. is always a little funny. That ought to do it. You can see we have zero iron ore. Smart guy is always safe. Yeah, we're throwing balls of iron ore. <laughs> you can see the pile going up. Should get 20. There might be one missing because it already pulled one in. So we probably have 57 cord wood now. Six, interesting. Did it go ahead and grab another one? Yeah, it did. Now I just need to back up and get the other two cars unloaded. And wait for rail to get cranked out. The Heisler makes a decent uh, switch engine because it's slow. And the visibility is good. But it's a little bit overkill. That'll work. You both are on load. Let's go see. And we're piling up. Let's go see how we're doing on the rail front. Hey, there we go. Breaking out rails like nobody's business. We got 11. Beautiful. So we brought 40 iron ore down, so I think we'll end up with 42 rails, but I'm not sure on the math. I assume it's one iron ore and one cord wood means one rail, one you know chunk of rail, but I'm not 100% sure. Watch your head. <laughs> uh, but it may stop. Yeah. We're going to run into issues probably because I've got so much raw iron here. I'll see what I can get loaded up though. Whatever we can get loaded. Take to the uh, coal mine. 
What I might have to do is buy another car just to get some iron offloaded. How are we doing on money, by the way? Yeah, we're back up to 2700 after buying the Heisler. All you got to do is play the game and you'll make money. Just take stuff around with all the industries. Money just kind of happens naturally. Going? You going? But anyway, I'm going to let the rail crank out. And uh, we'll get this loaded up. And like I said at the beginning of the video, the plan is to take this to the coal mine. Uh, bring another load of coal down. So I need to get the iron... I need to get the hoppers on the back. Maybe the front of the train? Put them between the rail and the beams, maybe? I'm not sure. Because I don't want to pull in half like it was doing earlier. We'll bring some coal back, and then I need to build a track over to the ironworks from the freight depot. You can see there in the middle of the map. Ironworks in the bottom left. It's fairly flat in there. Just have to scout out a, a route and see what kind of tracks we're going to need. And I would like to get a mountain line from the coal mine over to the ironworks. That would save a lot of time. But in the meantime, we will have a route. It just takes an hour <laughs> to get stuff routed over there. That'll be it for this video. I'm not sure how long it ran on. I apologize if it's too long. I had quite a few segments in here. But uh, thanks as always for watching. If you're in the U.S., have a great Thanksgiving. And I'll catch you in the next one.